Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple felt and cotton dress which will fit 11 inch strawberry shortcake dolls and any dolls with similar body measurements. Before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download and print this free PDF sewing pattern. There's a link below this video on YouTube that should help you find it. Use the pattern to cut out all the pieces shown here. Stitch the sleeve to the sleeve hole on the bodice and do the same thing for both sleeves. Fold the bodice in half with right sides together. So you're folding that sleeve in half and you'll see me doing that right here. This is what my bodice looks like so far. It's made of felt. I fold it in half to make sure that I've kind of pinched that sleeve together. And then I'm gonna sew from the edge of the sleeve to the underarm and then turn and from the underarm sew down to the bottom of the bodice. Do this for both sides of the dress's bodice. So here I am doing the other side. Now your bodice should look like this. You can even try it on your doll if you like to make sure it really does fit. It should slightly overlap in the back. Now let's set the bodice aside for a moment and we're going to work with the skirt for a little while. Along one of the longest edges of the skirt's fabric, you're going to fold the fabric once and then a second time and we're going to create a hem this way. Whip stitch along this folded edge to create what I call a double fold hem. If you need help with the whip stitch, um, I have a tutorial for the whip stitch in the links below this video on YouTube. Next, gather your skirt along the length of fabric on the opposite side of the skirt from the hem. Do not tie off your gather thread and another thing, you want to avoid gathering about one and a half centimeters of fabric on both sides of the skirt. Without tying off your gathers, pin the skirt to the bodice, keeping right sides together to make sure that your gathers will match up with the length of the bodice. Allowing a little bit of extra centimeter or so to hang over the edges on both sides of that bodice. Once you've done this, you can tie off your gathers and then begin to stitch the skirt to the bodice, maintaining those overhanging centimeter or so as you go on both sides of the dress. When you flip the bodice up, it's going to look like this. Take one of these overhanging flaps in your hand and fold it in once and then a second time. Once again, we're going to create a little side hem here. Whip stitch to create a hem about one and a half inches long. Here's a closer look at that. Do this on both sides of the dress. Now your dress should look like this with that little hem on the sides. Fold the dress in half like you see me doing here bringing those two closure area hems together and then stitch from the bottom of these closure hems to the bottom of the dress itself. Turn the dress right side out. If you have a little trouble poking out the sleeves, um, a chopstick can help with that. There you go. It's such a cute little dress. Now your dress looks like this. And you'll want to add a few dritz size 2 snaps down the back. And then you're ready to try it on a doll. For more free printable sewing patterns 
for making doll clothes to fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. What if there was an easy way to take a big doll pattern and resize it to fit a little doll, or vice versa? I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer, and in my pattern alteration class, I'm going to share with you my resizing formula. Pattern alteration is when you take a pattern that you already own and you make changes to it. Let's say a dress doesn't fit your doll quite right. I'll show you how to create a gusset to extend the dress's bodice. Along the same lines, I'll show you how to use a doll's body measurements to lengthen and shorten shirt sleeves and to recreate the pants patterns you already own so they will fit dolls of different shapes and sizes. Following my instructions, you'll learn how to reshape dresses and skirts, making them fuller or less full depending on the look you're going for. With this collection of more than 40 videos, you'll use my measurement guide and dozens of tips and tricks to create a full wardrobe for the dollar dolls of your choice. I invite you to join me. We are going to have so much fun.